welcome back to War Sword Conquest, where it has been quite a while. <laughs> like a week or two? Something like that. It's been so busy. Uh, my job around this time of the year, sometimes it gets kind of crazy. The quarter gets sometimes more often than or not, we get a little bit more busier. And so uh, I've been having to do that. And then also... Um, because I'm going to be going on vacation in like a week. Then I have to make sure I'm caught up with my work so that uh, people can, you know, do stuff without me. But the stuff that they can't do, I have to get caught up with. So I've been kind of busy doing that extra work. But uh, yeah, we're going. I'm going to be going on vacation for a week. In a week, should be. And I'm going to go see Kian Chan over there where she's staying. Going to college. She'll be going on break. I'll be there for uh, my birthday and Thanksgiving. It's going to take a week off. I won't be able to bring my computer, so it won't be any uploads that whole time, but hopefully I'll be able to get back and be a little more calmer and I can get back into our routine. <laughs> so apologies. It's just been really, really crazy. But we're going to do some stuff today. And one of them is we're going to go after this chaos guy. And I'll explain that in a second. And the other thing is... Oh, okay, it's not under siege anymore. This was under siege, I think, in by these guys. But they must have not been able to do it. I want to see if we can find our vassals. And if we have them and they're ready, we're going to see about trying to take... Probably this last castle. Unless we have a huge, huge number. In that case, we might try taking one of the towns. But I want to try to take out these beastmen while they're in a weakened state. So we went off, we did that, you know, vampire counts, destroyed them, barely easy to defeat. But look at this guy. He's running from us, and he got some way more troops than us. I have 125, he has 156. Take a gander at his troops, he has some good ones. Warriors of Corn, Undivided Chaos Warrior, um, 12 Chosen, uh, 9 Corn Chaos Knights, Nurgle Crushers, Heralds of Corn. So he got some heavy hitters, but... They have no range. They have axe throwers, which have not the range of bows. We have quite a few bowmen. And I think I might have more cav units than him. So that's another bonus. So once we do have to gauge them, we can just charge in there. So we're going to see if we can get this guy. Should get some nice loots. Some XPs. All that good stuff. And then we're going to go off and find some beastmen. It's a big guy. Alright, I am... Negative three points. House... Deathwing, have you not met me yet? I haven't done much with Chaos this time. I say this once. I kind of want to fight them or play as them again. I really do. They look so cool now. Another time. I say this once. Sorry, did I, I've been kind of thinking, like, I don't know if I want to do... I want to do a bad guy. I feel better when I play bad guys. I feel like I do better as bad guys, I should say. And um, <laughs> I want to play as a bad faction. But I'm trying to think of a good faction that would go after Chaos. Could be... I have no idea what Kislev is. Like, I've never really done anything about their history. I know they're kind of like Norse kind of men. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. They ride bears. I mean, that's pretty... That's pretty cool. But other than that, I don't know much about their culture or anything. Could stick you guys here. Let's go ahead and stick our infantry there. And we're trying to shoot at them a little bit. Oh... They have quite a few more horsemen than I thought they did. Okay, stick you there. Stick you over there. Stick our horsemen over there. And we'll stick the heavy hitters somewhere around here. Okay. Maybe we won't stick you guys there. You're kind of right there where they're kind of wanting to go with their horsemen. They're making it. They're going to the right instead of the left. Trying to confuse us. Okay, archers, you need to do some damage. I got some gunners. We just literally got all those militia and stuff from uh, that one last fight. So hopefully their bullets can pierce some stuff. <laughs> okay, we might have to do a charge sandwich here. Okay, let's move you guys a little bit more down here. You archers seriously need to start shooting stuff. Like right, now? I'll assist. We take out some of these horsemen. Oh my goodness. Wait, are the Chosen... Oh, I may have made a mistake. Chosen could be their elite horsemen. I have forgotten what or what now. That could be why we 
We're outnumbered by so many. But I think we might be okay. Just need to get these guys back. You guys need to go over there. We might have to do a preemptive charge. But we took out one of their horses. Let's see if I can get a little. There we go. I'm trying to get their big guys. They're making the circles. Let's keep going circles. Keep distracting them with the horses. Um, you guys need to start moving forward. Go in like right there. We haven't killed anything yet. <laughs> oh wait, maybe we have. We just not as many as I was hoping. Oh look at that. Yeah, the half lane ranger. I got him. Where the heck did I get him? Did we get him in that fight or did I hire him from someplace? I think he was part of that fight we did. Like I said, it's been so long. Okay. These guys got some massive shields. So this is making it a little trickier to do. Okay. Uh, keep going this way. As long as they keep doing the circle, we can kind of thin them down. Because how many is this? Only 74 of them. Yeah. There's still another round we're going to have at least. I feel like some of their horses are a little... Oh my gosh. Don't tell me. You guys are already out of arrows? We're in a little bit of a pickle. Okay. Go forth. You guys stand right there. We're going to have to go in. <laughs> I can't believe we were out of... Some of these guys still got ammo. But most of them don't. Which is a little bit of a shame. I figured being uh, archers, they'd have a lot more arrows on them. Oh, I was trying to get the assist there. Okay. These are big horses. And big dudes. Come here. Pitchfork dude. Okay. Boom. No. Get him. Oh my goodness. The sneak attacked me. But his horse interrupted his charge. No, no. Back up. Beep. 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 Get him, Grail Knight. Oh, I swear I hit that guy. Did I hit him? No, I did not hit him. I thought I did. Come here. Sandwich him. Why they stole Velandis' horse? Get back here, you thief. That's not your horse. Oh, he ran off with the horse, too. Oh, my goodness. How dare he. So that guy stole that guy's horse. What's with these chaos stealing horses? I think we won. By some miracle. <laughs> horse thieves. Chaos. I know they're known for their a lot of bad things, but horse thieving, I didn't think it was one of them. Okay. Oh yeah, we got this. All the little guys. All right, for sure he's got that one. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, serpentine. Okay, get that guy. I'll come back for you. Nope, dibs. Dibs. I told you I'd come back for him. Alright. And... A few more. Very nice. Lost all their steam in that first wave. Which I'm kind of glad for. If we didn't have to fight all these guys, we could have been in trouble. Not really, actually. I'm surprised we did much better against all those horsemen. I guess... I guess the charge kind of helped them. They didn't get their momentum. I just figured they had such nice shields and one-handed and two-handed weapons they do a little bit better, but they didn't. Alright. Onwards. <laughs> Let's see, we lost 7 and 9. That's not bad. 150. Oh, we still got to... No, that was it. Two routed. <laughs> yeah, those two little buggers. Alright, now we can go and finish them off. I'm gonna tell everybody to charge. Run them down. For Verlandis, his horse. Yeah, it's the guys that ran. At least two of them. Where's archery skill for the win? 
Drive by. Oh, darn it. I would have got him if someone hadn't killed him already. Oh! 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 I almost got him. <laughs> Alright. No one saw that. Alright, three killed. Boom. Escape, that's fine. We got a Marauder and two Marauder Hunters. Goodies galore. Look at all this stuff. What? It's all the Marauder stuff. There's only like one corn thing. I thought for sure. I mean, look. All the Chosen we took out. We got some Chaos Boots. And some of their armor. But it's not the good stuff. I really thought we would have got way more stuff for all those Chosen we just took out. And Corn Knights. There was a buttload of them. We got more room. Boom. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna go off because we still got some walking to do. I'm gonna go over here to Skaven Light, sell some stuff, get some salt. It's a really good spot to get some salt, cheap. If you remember that for the beginning game, Could go there and get some salt if we're friendly towards them. Go sell that for some profits. And yeah, let's see if we can find our vassals and put them to work. So I don't think we'll be sieging anything this time around. <laughs> Mainly due to the fact that before I even got here, I just caught it at the very last second, a glimpse that uh, one of our vassals was captured. And guess who it was? Florin. Yep. Florin's been captured. And you know where he is? That's right. Great Horn. The biggest city they have, I'm pretty sure. 423 troops with 458 prisoners. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and then there's some guys in here. There's still not very many big ones. I've already taken out two or three beastmen. Um, two of them were raiding one of the villages I gave to Florence. So I jumped them real quick before they had a chance to scatter. Because I jumped them from the boat real quick. And then I took out a couple more guys that just happened to get cut off guard. But yeah, Florence in here with 14% health. So I was hoping he'd be in a party someplace, but as soon as they took him out, they must have ran here. So <laughs> I have no idea how many troops they have. And I haven't even found the other person. Who is our other vassals? It's been so long. I don't remember who it was. Uh, House of Tiffwing. Ah, uh, that's right. Lord Tullerus. Last time you saw him, Lord Tullerus was at Gorspite. Okay, I might have walked by there and I didn't notice him. It's so weird. The flags are sun kind of like glitchy. Like, look at his... <laughs> His outfit shows one flag, which is like an an empire, an, an empire flag, and then that's an empire flag, but they don't match the one that he's wearing, and that's the one that's flying over his castle. Is Floris the same way, Florins? Um, Florin. Oh, he got that one. I don't even know if that's his flag. No, he had the little bow. That's so weird. They don't match. Yeah, here's his. Ah, uh, well. Um, so yeah, we got him in there. I don't think he's going to get out for a while. I might go after one of these groups real quick. This one looks pretty tempting. There was a one little group. Where is it? It should be right right there. There's like five or so people in it. Able to fight with 62 prisoners. It's pretty nuts. Um, I don't know if we're going to catch this one group. But we'll, we might have to let it go until I have some more space. Oh, that warhead thought about it, though. Hmm. We'll let it go. Maybe I can get them both. Alright. So, yeah. The beastmen aren't doing great. Like, I haven't seen anybody over 100 troops. But they're all scattered, so, they're, you know, they're raiding the villages when they can. I'm trying to... What are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe he just turned around like that. We're going to fight this guy real quick. And he's 15 troops. Go after him. And, uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to see how many troops our vassals were going to get. Now, I have to try to rescue him. Gosh, I've never actually played where I had vassals and I had them get captured. So, I don't know. Like, <laughs> ransom broker? Yeah, I gotta find a ransom broker otherwise. I don't think I'm going to break him out of that one. Like, if we had a bunch of people, I'd totally just do it the freeway, but I might have to pay. <laughs> nice. Uh... Paid him, get him out. <laughs> He's just climbing over that rock. Come on. I took out his horse. I want to take him out now. Got him. Nope. He just flinched. Oh, don't. Darn it. Okay. 
<laughs> I was like, please don't be in the town. Please don't be in the town. Just be in a small little war party I can take out real quickly. And get you on your way. We got one negative point because he got his stupid butt captured. I don't know how that affects me. I'm not the one that got him captured. <laughs> Come on, drop the shield. Thank you. Oh, sneaky bugger right behind you. Headshot. Wink. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, we actually got one of them too. And then I fought a what dark elf. He just happened to show up with like 20 troops, so I was like, why not? He said, I don't have any junk. <laughs> I bought all this salt and I haven't been able to sell it. I bought this all for like less than 100. That's a weird thing. Fine salt and large bags of salt cost the same amount. It was like 62 bucks and then it started going up. Uh, food? No, let's just get rid of... Oh, gosh. Money pincher in me. Let's see. Get rid of... Wait, no. 87, 67, 74. Let's get rid of a few of those and that's good enough. Um... Yeah, I don't know what he was doing over here. And he didn't even run. Like, he literally came at me. He was like, come at me, bro. Before I even had a chance to, he ran into me. 75 troops? That's not going to do anything. I got 96 troops. I can't do anything with these sediments. I can't give them more troops. I was hoping I could. I'm trying to learn these mechanics, so if we do a big faction thing again... I'm a little more prepared. Significant group of enemy spotted near course fight. I don't think a significant group... Is 50 less, 50 troops or less. Let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ransom broker. I'm gonna have to go to a town. I haven't been able to sell any prisoners because I haven't found one. Where is this guy? Bacon? No, Blade Lord. He's here. What the heck? Oh, wait, no, he left just as soon as I got in there. I see how it is. Alright, let's go talk to. Maybe I can give him some troops. I need to find out. 50 relationship. We had 32 and now we're 31. You won't regret this decision. Okay. What is your bidding? I want to give you some troops to you. There we go. I can go give him some troops and I can go get more troops. Go ahead and take these guys. Not that they're not good. I just, um, I feel like they could do better in your army. That's all. <laughs> can I have some of those? I'll give you some of these. So it's good that they're all getting the uh, high levels. Um, a new task for you. I want to start a new campaign. Let us sample here. I us ask you something. What kind of task can we do? Follow me. Go to raid around the village. I'll patrol around. The enemy is coming in force. Flee in the direction of. I guess patrol around gorse pipe. Don't go anywhere else. Just stay around your house. Just beg my leave. Should be able to handle those little guys. Got 90 some troops now. Interesting. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Hopefully, this guy does well. If not, I'll be nearby to go save his bacon. <laughs> not the pet pig, his actual bacon. And then let's go ahead and upgrade these people. Let's see, not Quatra. Let's go with the intelligence so we can get some more doctoring. Go with some one handed. Adeline finally upgraded her. She needed bow strength. Power draw. So more of those guys. And there we go. Now let's see if we can find a ransom broker and just buy him. I guess that'll probably be the, the easiest route. I have some money laying around I can spend. <laughs> so, good news and bad news. Good news. Well, it's kind of good news. I ended up selling the Beastman's main leader for 12,300 gold. It was a big old whopping pile. And then I finally found a ransom broker, but sadly, I cannot buy Florin back. I went and talked to him. I sold some prisoners. I still have like three beastmen. No, two beastmen and a count something. Um, and so I tried to, you know, ransom one of my companions. So I was like, the only other option. And it didn't give me anything. It was just like blank. So apparently I can't try to get my friend back. So either I go wait for them to pop up saying, hey, do you want him back? Or they'll release him on their own? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to try to break him out because that's kind of a pain. Like this mod, some mods you can go in and you can sneak in. And if you get caught, you can fight your way out 
with your gear and weapons. This mod, I've done it, I've tried it, and you just come out with a stick and a cloak, so... Though, I don't understand why you can't hide your stuff underneath the cloak. It's, it's just a thing, but... So, we gotta do it the hard way, which I think we can kind of finagle. So, what's going on right now, is I went back, I did some stuff. I tried to make a peace treaty with the, the Sylvanians as well, because I'm tired of them coming all the way over here just to raid this one village again. And they didn't want to do that, so... Poo on them, I'm just going to have to go fight them later, maybe? Otherwise, we're just going to skip that for another, <laughs> another series. But... We're going to use our friend here. So we only got one friend, and he can he does okay. But I remember this little trick where if we're involved with a fight, and there's too many prisoners and I don't want them all, all the other prisoners usually go to the other group. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to beef this guy up if we can. Give him 72 prisoners right here, because I'm pretty well maxed out. And then we're going to try to fight our way. There was a bunch of guys. They might have scattered because I think the Bretonians are sieging this ca or their town here. And if so, we'll go over there, see how it's going. If they're winning, great, they can have it. If they're losing, then we can maybe pop in and steal it. I know, it's pretty sneaky, but we'll see. Otherwise, we're going to take this castle. There's about 200 some troops, so if I beef him up, we have like 300 troops. We should be able to do it. But trouble is this guy is super slow. He got 4.6, I'm like 5 something. So I had to actually run past this guy and let him go back the other way. So he can do a little sandwich thing. Otherwise he wasn't going to be close enough to get involved in this fight. And there he sh should have got involved. This one here die. 216 troops. Yep, yeah, he got involved. Okay, good. Usually it's supposed to pop up there. Let's do this. But this should work. If it does, that could be pretty useful. I'm just trying to think of where... <laughs> I already took out that one group that had a bunch of prisoners in it. I should have left it, but I didn't think about this till after the fact. I was like, oh, gotta beef this guy up. Beefed him up. Okay. So you guys can go right here. Go let their <laughs> slowly charge into these front lines. Oops. Really? You guys better start doing some damage. There's only three of them. <laughs> that was the longest held shot ever, and I was just hoping I wasn't going to hit one of my own guys. Okay, let's finish off these guys. Go ahead and send those guys in for the XPs. My horsemen don't really need them. See if I can get some XPs while we're doing this. Because I do need them. Oh, I forgot I got my mercenary. I forgot my Chaos Dwarves at my town. Use a little muscle for... As we do some fighting. Actually, I'm just thinking about that. The wood elves are supposed to get in like ants. I don't think the high elves really got any big troops, do they? I know they have like, you know, griffin riders maybe? Or is that the empire? Something. I don't know if they have any big units really. Of the high elves. I could be wrong. I don't know much about the high elves. Except for they like their white. Alright, two killed there. Casualties 21 killed and boom. So I don't need any of these troops. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade some of our troops real quick. Unless we want to trade some of these. What do they got? Because he's just gonna waste them kinda. <laughs> let's be fair. They do a little bit better probably in my care. So let's go ahead and trade off one of those guys. Oh, you can have these guys. I forgot about that. I was gonna give you them before we ran off, but Tony Newman. Huntsman, there we go. You can have that sea guard too. Alright, let's see. We want Phoenix Guard. Because he's already got some of those. And then we'll take those guys. Take the White Lion. Mm, and that's about it, really. We'll take those Reavers. And the Archers. We'll take the Veteran Archers. There we go. That should do us. Or not. Ah, oh, they're sneaky hiding behind there. Okay, veteran spear. Oh, he can have the spearman. Dragon guard, dragon prince, high helm. I mean, just in case, this is another thing. If this doesn't work, all these troops are going to go to waste, guys. 
Might as well get the best ones we can. Where the heck did those veteran archers I just grabbed go? Knights errand. Oh, wild hunters. Uh, they're okay. Shoni and veteran at man. Uh, oh, there they are. And then we'll take the noble. And then the silver helms. And then the blade lords. And that's pretty much it, right? I'm not missing anything else. Wood elves they can keep. Yep, that's about it, really. Alright, and let's see if this works. Take the loots. Oh, shoot. I forgot other loots. It's fine. Let's take what we can. <gasps> Actually, we took everything. Surprised. Then... It worked. Holy cow, it worked! He's got 154 troops now. He's got more troops than me. Oh my goodness, we found a loophole in the system. Alright, let's go ahead and go and give Groth some XP's skills. What do we want to do? Strength probably? Yeah, why not? Iron Flesh. It's more one-handed. Go with that boomstick of yours. And then we'll go ahead and give you some skills. Our Engineer, we're going to do some intelligence so we can get that up to a 4. Let's see what else could be used. Riding. <laughs> Writing for a dwarf, yes. Um, inventory management's a leadership skill. Surgery, the party skill. I don't really need that. I already got that quacha. Prisoner management's a leadership. Leadership is a leadership skill. Trade is a party skill. Eh, I guess we could do a little trading. And there we go. Sweet. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that worked. All right. So let's do this. Let's go to Dark Shrine here. Or do we want to go sell some of the stuff? I might go sell some stuff. Let's go here real quick. And let's take the... Oh, shoot. We don't have enough time in this episode to go and do a siege. Oh, they're still here. These guys are just chilling over here right now. Accompanying Beast Lord. What are you guys accompanying him for? Like, they're going to siege this if you don't do something soon. Alright, let's do this. Let's go over here real quick. Go to the rabbits. You were so slow. <laughs> I didn't think about it, but I should have definitely gave you some uh, movement pathfinding before <laughs> I let you go. Because um, I don't think I can talk to you now. Can I? Oops. Yeah, sell stuff. Wow, 600 for fine soul. I bought that for like 62 bucks when I was in Skaven Blight, but that's fine. It's fine, I can sell that for that much. If I don't, that's fine. I'm getting rid of all this junk. That's pretty much what it... Oh, whoa, no, not, not that much. I need some food, though. Holy cow. Rotten beef? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, guys. We're in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, 42. I didn't realize we were out of food. Take that. 30 bucks. Do I have anything for 30 bucks? 28. I'll pay 2. Okay. Done. Let's do this. Next episode, I'm going to agree with food. We're going to go and sneak past these guys. Should be able to do that. We'll go see how they're doing at Camp of Skulls. And if uh, these guys don't go in there, then that's fine. We'll find out what we want to do. Either we can take this one, if we can. Otherwise, we're going to have to Dark Shrines, probably for sure. Because now that we have this guy beefed up like that, 154 troops. I'm so glad that worked. And I will see you guys next time.